Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to t be teaching you a very simple tutorial on how to use T-Edit, a Terraria um, world editing software. So if you open up Google Chrome here, um, you can go to um, T-Edit, not GT-Edit, sorry, for 1.4 or just T-Edit 1.4 or whatever you want and then you're going to want to go to releases t-edit I'm going to have the download link in this page so you're always going to want to download the newest thing as of right now um, I'm going to be using this but uh, because well I'm too lazy to update it right now so once you download that um, you gotta head over to your downloads folder let's say that um, down into the dungeon is my um, T edit thing that I just downloaded. So you gotta go to if you have not pinned your Terraria Steam folder yet. So I'm on a Windows PC. So you go to this PC, local disk. I I have it on my local disk, but if you have it on a drive, then it should be appearing right here. Um, program files x60. I mean 86, and you go to Steam. You gotta follow my um, instructions very carefully right here because this is very important and you're going to want to go to this one right here steam apps common and um, choose the, the your game in this case I'm downloading a mod software for um, Terraria so what you do is you um, move it down into here and right click it and extract all but I'm not going to do that since this is a world file but just pretend that that's your t-edit file so now once you've um, open this up. You're going to you're going to want to open this if you have Windows Defender or something on. It should give you a warning not to open it, but just open it anyway. It's completely safe. I've tried using it. Just before you open up T Edit, you're going to have to go to File Explorer and find your Worlds folder. So you just go to Documents. Um, my not ah, geez, no, I would not like to update T Edit right now. My games. Terraria, or if you're using Mod Loader, um, you just go to Terraria Mod Loader. But however, when you're using the Mod Loader worlds, uh, do not go and do something with a like with a mod that changes world generation. For example, Calamity or Thorium, that would um, probably destroy T Edit. I've been too scared to try it, so just go to worlds. Um, don't open it. Like right click it and then copy. And you're going to want to paste it. We have to copy our worlds just in case they corrupt because T-Edit is still in the beta. Alright, so I'm just going to open up a file right here, one of my Terraria worlds, so we're going, excuse me, we're going to um, the the hovel of spaghetti, which is my journey mode world. I'm not going to peek around too much. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, um, a couple things that you may notice is are these. I'm going to do this so you can. Okay, that doesn't work. So you can, as of version um, 20 beta, you can use. This is your world name. So if I want it to, I just chose the hovel of spaghetti. But if you want it to be like the the world of uh, giant jiggly slimes, and yeah, you put that in, and it'll change the display name. Or um, this is your world seed. I have not ex explored with this much yet, um, and I don't know what this is. Revision 21. So the, I believe this is how many times I've revised all my worlds. It, it, yeah, this is my world seed right here. What is going on? And right, so you want you could choose like what phase of the moon um, and what kind of moon you want. You want gray, the brown one, green gas. I've not played. A, a lot with these yet so you could choose your in invasion right here blood moon eclipse but I will not turn on eclipse if you're not in hard mode unless you have like a god mode mod or something like that or um, you could change the time right here click is daytime for day or if you click it again it will make it night and I'm not gonna mess around too much with this since I like my world Hi. sundial cool cool down you can um, change how much the cooldown is running so you can choose whether or not it is raining, how how long it's going to last, and um, slime rain time until the next time a slime rain happens. Uh, I don't know what I just did there, but um, you can choose if the sandstorm's going on or force holiday, blah blah blah. This is 
this is for you to um, experiment with, but what bosses you want down. So if you want wall flesh downed, then you will have um, your hard mode world open. But um, you can choose all sorts of things. So you get to choose which NPCs you've saved, Angler Mission, Goblin Army, or Frost Legion on, or if you, sorry, if you downed it or like completed it. And then you get to choose your world backgrounds, but as of the new, the new um, update, there's like world globes and tree globes and stuff with, that changed the background. So um, we're going to go to sprites. Um, you get to choose like, all right, you get to choose all sorts of um, neat things. For example, you could grow um, artificial trees. Some of these trees I've I don't believe I've seen. I have not played around with 1.4 enough. Um, there's so many tree varieties, but like you can grow a tree if the conditions are right. Um, let me try and find a stump. Mm, I can't seem to find a stump, so we could just, I don't know, do this. Um, I'm really bad at it, but we could, um, one thing we could do right here is you get to choose like the animation wheel, but first you have to click sprite in order to do this. So bam, I've got a life crystal in my world. You can choose what animation it's stuck in. Or if you want a demon altar, wee tons of altars. Mm, I'm not really gonna need those, but um, what what you can also do is clipboard to see, uh, like to add in a custom image to your world. But this is like 24 by 24 or whatever. I don't know, and you get to name the NPC. So I don't like the name Lewis, for example, the merchant. Sorry if your name's Lewis. But remember, this is all big joke. We could name merchant, the merchant, um, big, fat, bum. There we go. Now the merchant's name will be big, fat, bum. Now, um, William the golfer, we could change it, his name to, um, putter. Uh, you could do whatever you want with that. That's up to you. That's how I changed my character's name, um, my the dad's name and down into the dungeon to dad with um i use it with t edit tally see how many monsters you killed um world properties we've already seen that npc data uh keeps it keeps mixing around so more of the tools you could do is if you click um this is your input import world not well make a new world and if you want to import a world you just go to file uh, and open and like open one up but and then when you're done make sure you save it but um if you want to undo something like let's say um let's draw something right here oops i accidentally drew a ton of dirt so we can just hit this button right here a couple times and that should undo it and if you want to redo it like oh i actually kind of like those dirt scribbles then we could just put them back we can copy things, so exa for example, we can, um, if we find anything cool looking, for example, this down here looks kind of interesting. I don't know why the tiles aren't loaded in yet, but we can hit copy, and, or, oops, uh, that's where the undo button comes in handy. I accidentally drew dirt over the chest, so you actually have to go to selection first, hit that, click copy hit paste and then this little color thing will appear and bam you got yourself another chest for example I don't know what's in it but this should give you a basic idea so for picker this is very useful if you don't want to look for hours for something but it does not work with mini oh it actually does work with the 1.4 tiles nice so if I for example want crack pink brick in the world um, you just go to pick or you can find it through here, but I don't see any purpose of doing that. But um, I don't want the wall. And we could just dig a giant hole to China right here. So we um, we can make this however deep we want, whatever size we want, whatever shape we want. Anyways, um, another thing we can do with this very useful editor is, um, let's say, rooms in sandstone um, we can use I don't know what the brush does but if we want to fill something like let's say um, I'm gonna draw a big circle right here 
and um, if you want that filled you just click fill right here but be very careful do not touch on the outside or it'll fill your entire world up with this stuff and it makes my computer very slow when that happens and bam we've got crim a giant floating island of crimson sandstone um, if we I special interest points so for example if you're happy unhappy with your with where your NPCs live or what's going on you could just uh, click on any of these like for example spawn I don't like my spawn being down there I'd probably prefer to be right there that's pro that's much better in my opinion that is a lot better it just feels like uh, much better so if we want biome morph I have not played with this much so this basically turns everything back to like normal or let's say um, I want part of my giant thing to be corruption we can make some really cool shapes with this um, for example we can make the yin and yang symbol alright so I made a very crappy yin and yang symbol right here in like 15 seconds a little more than that but um, just to give you an idea so if you want this is just the basics what you can do there's so much more for example you can modify what's inside chests but I'm not gonna go into that you can also choose what kind of chests you want but do be warned it kind of does ruin your stairs as you can see right here when you mess around with t-edit because of properties and stuff but um, so when you're done you're gonna want to go to hit file up in the corner right here save um, down here you gotta wait a little bit the new beta kinda broke the saving thing um, just save it again for um, safety reasons and close the thing so um, nothing may seem to happen yet but what you're what you gotta do is you go to Steam or wherever your Terraria folders at um, not folder but wherever it runs Terraria and wait up for your game to load Thank you.